Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pete here with MixBetterNow.com and today I want to show you part two of how to create a drum room mic in your mix session if you don't have one. Let's check it out. Okay, so uh, in part one, uh, we are working in uh, Stella's song here by Zach Jones and the Tricky Bits. Uh, go check out Zach's new EP, Rendezvous with a Comet. All the links are below. Uh, in the first video, I showed you how to basically duplicate the overhead, uh, and then we went ahead and put things like uh, room emulation software on the overhead, like Oceanway Studios, or a combination of a room verb with a room emulation, like uh, Brainworks' BX Rooms. Um, now, the reason uh, uh, we would want to do this is, for example, in this session, um, I got it from Zach, and there was no room mic. Now, there's no rule saying you have to have a room mic in your drum kit. That is by no means uh, mandatory, but it's just something that I like to have as an option for my tonal uh, sculpting of my drum sound. So, uh, what I did get was a kick in mic, a kick out, a snare top and bottom, rack tom, floor tom, and a mono overhead. So, um, I have a, cool, a couple cool ways to create... Uh, f uh, fake room mic sounds, if you will. So um, this one, I saved the best for last. This is probably my favorite way. Uh, this is the way that I think sounds the most authentic and the best. Uh, I'm going to show you that in a second. What we're going to do right now is we are going to uh, play a little bit of this so you can hear it from the first chorus. All right, here we go. Oh, Okay, so uh, right now this is pretty much a static mix. There's faders up. Uh, there's really nothing going on. All I've done is uh, we've got an 1176 on the drum bus, a little bit of parallel compression with the UAD Fatso. Um, and then if you see on all the rest of the tracks here, there are no plugins. The only thing that I have going on in the virtual mix rack is uh, I'm using the VCC from Slate. So there is, uh, you know, just faders up, a little bit of balancing, and... Um, yeah, we're kind of in the middle of getting this guy going. So uh, what I've done is uh, if we take a listen to the drums, let's solo them up. Uh, this is the sound of kind of like a static mix of the drum kit. So as you can tell, the drums sound good. Um, now what I want to do is show you the overhead again. So if you guys haven't seen part one, I'll put a link down here. You guys can click on it. Go check out part one. Uh, but this is the overhead all by itself. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Now this is the track that I went ahead and duplicated, okay? So if we look here, uh, I made the room track a little pinker uh, than the others. Um, so all I did, like I said, duplicate the overhead. Here's my room track. Now the uh, the trick or the hack or the move that that is my favorite for creating a, um, a simulated uh, drum room mic in this session is to use a transient designer. Um, now there's basically two common um, controls that you'll find on most transient designers. So I have a couple plugins here uh, instantiated on the room track. And you're going to notice that um, some common ones that you're going to find on just about every transient designer is going to be an attack and a sustain knob. Okay, so if we zero these out, um, this is the uh, XLN DS10 drum shaper. Um, Here's one you might be a little bit more familiar with. This is the SPL Transient Designer. So the idea is this. Very simply put, what you want to do is you want to turn the attack all the way down, and then you want to increase the sustain. It depends on the Transient Designer. You're going to see, I'll show you a couple different ones here. They all sound and they all react a little bit differently uh, to the audio. But when we do this, um, we get a really cool room sound. So here is... Uh, the room track with all the plugins off. I'll turn it up. K 
Okay, now watch what happens when we bring the attack all the way down and then we start boosting some of the sustain. Very, very cool sound, right? So um, basically what we're doing is we are allowing uh, the tails of the transients, the end of the transients to kind of blossom and bloom and do their thing by dipping down the attack. We're kind of telling this plugin to ignore the initial transients and then we're sustaining. So we're elongating, uh, kind of uh, uh, creating a, a bit of a reverb here with the sustain. And uh, we just get a really cool kind of room sound on here um i know it's a little little bizarre but um but it sounds good i really like it uh on this particular plugin we have a parallel mix knob which is cool so you know we can get aggressive and then do a little parallel blending um but i always like to um bring the the output gain down a little bit but that's really it okay turn the attack down turn the sustain up and just have it at a point wherever you feel like it's enough i mean it can get pretty aggressive so if i show you what it sounds like maxed It can get pretty squishy sounding and there can be a lot of movement from it. So what I like to do is I like to kind of rein the sustain back a little bit. And then I like to level match by uh, by bringing the output gain down. So, I mean, it's really that simple, okay? Let's take a look at another um, transient designer plugin that some of you guys might have. There, I don't believe there's a, a stock transient designer in Studio One here. I know there is not one in Pro Tools. Um, these are the the two DAWs I work in is Studio One and Pro Tools, as you know. So, um, if you guys work in anything else like Cubase or Logic, let me know uh, in the comments or something like that. If you have a stock transient designer, um, I think there's one in Cubase that's really good. If I'm not mistaken, my buddy uh, Chris uh, Chris Salem of Mixdown Online, go check him out. He's he's really awesome, good friend of mine. Uh, has some really great content up. Uh, he's a um, he does all of his stuff in Cubase, and uh, I think he was telling me there's a great transient designer in Cubase. Um, another transient designer here. Okay, this is the uh, this is the Neutron Transient Shaper. So it's kind of like a multi-band transient designer. Um, I like this one a lot. Now, you're, as I said before, they kind of all sound a little bit different. They kind of all have their own thing going on. So we're going to turn this on. I've went ahead and turned the attack all the way down. I'll bring the sustain to zero. And uh, let's listen to this one. I remember, I think this one didn't really need much sustain. This one's pretty realistic sounding. Okay, let's give it a little increase in the sustain. And I mean, I really think that sounds so good. It's it's very, very hard to tell the difference, I think, in the context of the mix. Of course, if you have uh, a real um, uh, drum room mic in solo versus something like this, you know, you might be able to tell the difference, but it's pretty close. Um, here's another great one. This is the uh, the DS10 from XLN Audio, uh, the drum shaper. So we'll turn this on and we'll dial it in. See, with this one, just bringing the attack down really sounds realistic to me. Um, and then we have this mojo knob on here. Like, some of them are going to have some additional features that others don't have, of course, uh, depending on what plugin you have. But um, this says it it's supposed to um, give you some presence or remove some presence. So let's kind of play around with that. This one is really, really good too. Very, very, very close. 
Um, there's a couple more I had on here. This is one that you guys might have and not even know it. This comes with uh, Native Instruments Complete. Um, I have Complete, I don't have the most recent one. I think I have Complete 9 Ultimate or something like that, but uh, this comes with Complete and you know, it's a great transient designer. Uh, let's check this one out. This one sounds great too. Uh, I'm gonna push in the smooth button. Uh, again, I like that one a lot. Last up, I just want to show you is the plugin mix uh, trans control. These are some very affordable plugins. If you guys aren't familiar with plugin mix plugins, uh, I think it's pluginmix.com. And they have something like 50 plugins you can get for like 100 bucks or 200 bucks or something like that. So if you're getting into third party plugins and you don't have a bunch of different tools, this might be a good entry point for you. Um, they go on sale sometimes. I actually got this whole bundle, I think, for like 50 bucks one time. But, um, you know, again, we have another transient designer here. So we'll turn it on and make sure the others are off. And let's check this one out. <laughs> Very cool. So they all sound really good. Um, I think the one that I, I preferred was the DS10. So let's turn this guy back on. And now the way that, um, that I like to dial in the room sound is I bring the fader all the way down like I showed you guys in the last video. I'll solo up the entire kit minus the... Um, uh, the, room, the room mic, I'll bring the fader all the way down and then I'll just kind of blend it up uh, and see how much of the room sound I want in conjunction with the rest of the drum kit. And just to show you uh, how extreme it can get, I will exaggerate. I'll push this room mic, um, the fader up quite a bit. And as you can hear, it sounds super authentic. I mean, I, you know, I, I think it would be very hard for, um, you know, for, for people to tell, especially uh, non-audio uh, folks to really be able to differentiate between that. So this is something that I love. Last up, let's just make sure it sounds good in the context of the mix. The words are on my lips, but let me make it clear though I Here's with it out. The words are on my lips, but let me make it clear. But though I'm eager to confess it, we will both live to regret it. And there you go. There is another fantastic way to create a drum room mic in your session if you don't have one and you would, of course, like one to use in the context of your mix. All right, so that's it for me. My name is Pete with MixBetterNow.com. As always, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I will catch you next time.